can sell them. And now that the scene she set, let's see what happens. Well, out there on the bayou, all of a sudden, arose such a clatter. It sounded like an oyster sack full of Dixie beer cans. Got <laughs> fall down a ladder. <laughs> I run like the rabbit, I got to the door, I tripped on the dog and fall on the floor. <laughs> but when I finally got there, I push away the sack and I peek through the crack and I look into the far away. What you thought I see? <clears throat> I, you thought yourself again because you ain't gonna believe this. Said, First of all, let me tell you. Says, the moon, she was magnificent. How she sang on the cypress tree and reflect off the bayou. And coming right up to my house was this uh, big fancy pirou being drooled along by eight great big old slimy halibagators. <laughs> Inside, little old driver in Santa Claus costume was moving along like some crawfish done snuck up his culotte. <laughs> Fast like a duck he fly and whistle and holler and he called to his halibagators like so. He said, got yourself a move on T-Bone, Ropierre Boutreau. He said, he called him each by name. He said, come on T-Bone, come on Lulu, Blasi, and Bozo. You some slow halibagators. I'm gonna make soup out your tail if you don't get yourself a move on. And he would. Right up the porch, them halligators, they climb with a sack full of toys. St. Nicholas, he right behind. Up tip top the roof, you sound like hell when them big halligators flop their tail. And as I thought in my head, now, what's he up there for? Down the chimney, St. Claus came with a boom. Right on them red hot coals. Whoo, man. <laughs> he got out that fireplace so fast, I guarantee you. Just, I got a chance to check him out. Pretty good, because, I mean, you know, you don't get a chance to saw Santa Claus in person in your house every day. He was all dressed up and dried muskrat from his head to his foot, and his clothes was all messed up from ashes and soot. A sack full of play, playthings he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler who was just about ready to open up his back. He had a broad grin, a round little belly that shook when he laughed like strawberry jelly. His eyes, how they shine. His dimples, how merry. He looked like he'd been drinking the wine from the blackberry. <laughs> a wink of his eye and a jerk of his head. I guarantee, I know I ain't gotta be scared, no. Well, he went fast to his work and filled them long times with everything what you could thought of. And when he finished, he laid down both hands on top of his head. He looked at that chimney and he done said, with all that fire and them red hot coals, I ain't going back that way, that's for sure. <laughs> so right out the front door he glowed, climb up on the roof, sprang in his piro, crack his whip, and the big old halibagators, they'd move out and not one make a slip. And I heard him exclaim as he rode out of sight, and this is what I want to pass along to you. This lesson from what I learned, from what happened to me, like I told you from last year. I heard him exclaim as he rode out the sight, Merry Christmas, and to all, good night. <laughs>